Hello friends, been out to make some <clears throat> for those listening in English. Hello friends, just got back from estate sales this morning. Wanted to show you some of the things I got. I got this item. I didn't know what it was. And I asked some folks, I thought it was kind of cool. It's got a wood handle on it, obviously old, but I found out that this is a hog scraper. I don't think I'd ever seen one before, um, but I thought it was neat. It's only $5, thought it'd be neat to have. I got a couple of nice wood mold planes. Not got a lot of value. I think I paid maybe $9 for these. This particular one is a bead uh, plane. And this one is a coved uh, plane. I thought those were kind of nice. And then I've got this that I'm not really sure how it was used. And it's got what looks like some type of saw blade, but I'm not sure how it would be used because this piece doesn't feel smooth, so it doesn't feel like it was riding on that. The top of it feels smooth, but there again, I'm not sure how it would be used. If you know, let me know in the comments. Regardless, I thought it was kind of cool. Obviously, it's pretty old. I'm guessing these planes are probably from the late 1800s. This was the find of the day. This, I think this is called a sash filister plane. Most likely English. Um, it's in relatively good shape. Got a real old tag on it from an antique store in Charleston, South Carolina. And of course, I'm guessing this tag was probably from 30 years ago. That tag had $120 on it. I paid $25 for this. I'm guessing this is from the mid 1800s and I'm gonna guess this is worth maybe $250, $300, something like that. But I just thought it was real nice, uh, real neat item. I'm, I'm glad that I found it. And then this little measuring cup here I got this, it's not granite ware, but it is, does have kind of a gray color. I'm gonna put that with my collection of granite ware in the kitchen. And then this piece is an old wood uh, tricycle. And based off the hardware and the screws, I'm gonna say this is probably from the 20s or 30s. I think I only gave like six bucks for that. And then, being a watermelon grower, I really enjoyed finding these. I think somebody made these. It's got a name on the back, Jake Hill, 1992. I just thought they were kind of interesting. And then I got one more piece I'm going to have to show you outside. Come on, let's take a look. This was another fun piece I found. This is a glider from, I'm guessing either the 50s or the 60s. All here still seems to work fine. I'm going to take it apart, sandblast it, and paint it. Think about painting it green. Uh, sure turned out pretty nice. What do you think? Appreciate you watching. Until next time, so long.